Hey ladies, Kylie Brigler here, exclusive Black Status presenter with Unique. I want to talk to you very quickly about a thought I had when it comes to recruiting and prospecting people in your network. <clears throat> Excuse my cold that will not go away. Um, the key to recruiting, successful recruiting, is keeping it short, keeping it simple, and keeping it short, and asking questions. Okay, a lot of times what happens, it's so common, is we assume that they are going to love everything we have to say because we love it and we just want to tell them everything. So without asking them any questions about their needs or their interests, we just word vomit all over them. So we're messaging them, hey, I'm having so much fun. I'm making money. I think you'd be great too. Let me tell you all about this. Let me tell you all about that. It's a company. It's $99. You get this and you get that. It was founded by Derek and Melanie. They are a brother and sister. We have a mission to uplift, empower, and validate women. We give money back to the Unique Foundation. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, not everybody wants to hear all that information and it's going to be overwhelming to them. So they look at it as work immediately from the get-go or chances are they haven't even read through your entire message. So keep it short, keep it simple. My favorite combination for recruiting is the three C's combined with my business overview. So, hey girl, I hope you're doing well. I just love your profile picture. Your hair color is gorgeous. I know this is totally out of the blue, but I'm having so much fun with what I've been doing and I think you'd be great at it too. If I sent you a quick business overview, would you listen to it? Simple short, sweet, to the point, but not giving her so much information, letting the curiosity get in there a little bit too. Picture this. Let's say you're a single girl and you wanted to start dating and you met this guy uh, on eHarmony or Match.com or something. Okay. So you guys go out to dinner and you're sitting at dinner and let's say that you're an animal rights activist. You absolutely hate animal cruelty. You don't even eat meat. You're a vegetarian. You, anybody that, you know, even wears any animal hair, anything, eats animals, terrible, cruel, terrible, right? And the guy that you're on a date with, let's say he's a deer hunter. Okay, he's really big into hunting. Well, he thinks because that's the way he grew up and that's what taught him to be macho and brave and manly, he thinks this is going to be really appealing to you. Because to him, it's fulfilling. He enjoys it. He loves everything about it. Well, he's going to sit down and start talking, talking, talking about how he loves to go hunting. He hunts all the time. He's got bucks, head, bucks heads mounted on his wall. And he talks and talks and talks and talks. Never once stopping to ask you about yourself. Never once stopping to ask you about your interests. Well, if he wanted a second date, do you think that's going to happen? Or do you think... Before you even got a chance to open your mouth, that guy already turned you off and he already, you know, put one foot out the, you already put one foot out the door because he never asked you any questions. If he had known, maybe he would have filtered a little bit. Maybe he would have decided what about himself might appeal to you. So think the same about your business. We have so many different things, different, um, you know, colors of our business, I guess. So you know, what appeals to one woman might be that she can work from home while taking care of her kids. What appeals to another woman might be that she can play with makeup on Facebook. What appeals to another woman is that she might be able to get out of the house and make lots more friends. What appeals to another woman might be that she never has to get out of the house because she can work everything behind her computer. What appeals to someone else might be our mission to uplift, empower, and validate and that we give back. You never know unless you start to ask questions. So in the beginning, you let the business overview do the talking for you so that you don't vomit. And then you follow up and ask them what they liked best. So by asking them what about that business overview they liked best, you now know which direction to take your conversation. And what about the business would be appealing to them? So I hope that makes sense because truly, we're in this business to help others. Ultimately, yes, we start a job because we need to make an income. But the more you help others, the more it helps you in return. Oops, sorry. The more it helps you in return. So it is so imperative, so important that you remember to make it about your prospect and not about you. So ask questions, keep it short and sweet. Find out their need before you assume what they need. And you all have a great day. Happy recruiting.